that was held prior to the one we held this Monday, where stakeholders actually agreed for children to go back to school. At that meeting, NCDC representatives were present and they give statistics of what is happening in the school. And they were also part of those who put the document together as to what we can do to uh, observe social distancing in school. Will um, SS3 going back to school and uh, with some states approving GS3 and primary 6, it is enough opportunity for us to observe uh, physical distancing uh, with um, less than 50% uh, of the school population going back to school. And you could recall in some of the documents, not only for school, that had been circulated by NCDC on what is advised to be done by different sectors. Mm. It is advised that about 40% of the population of uh, a workforce in a building should be allowed to return to school. Mm. And then uh, with just GS3 and SS3 in secondary school, primary six in um, primary school, we have less than 40% population returning back to school. Beside that, we have adopted a reduced number of hours to be spent in school within this um, reopening. We We're looking about three hours max of four hours as against about eight hours to six hours that students spend in school now. Okay. Most examination that will be coming up, uh, on will not last more than three hours and children will come in for their exam. Even for the revisional classes before the examination will start, this timing is also going to be respected. And uh, we have also held various meetings with parents, even the community leaders, to deny children assessing purchase of things on the road. When they leave their home and get to school, say, around 9 o'clock in the morning, we expect them to leave back home around 12. So yeah. the time of break is also shrink to the extent that children can have their breakfast prior before they leave home and they go back home to have their lunch. So there is limited interaction between the children, except within the classroom where teachers are with them to. How about um, the compound where the students themselves and the children are going to congregate? That's going to be very difficult, just as the doctor said. That's going to be difficult to manage. They haven't seen themselves for like three, four months. And how are they going to maintain physical distancing that way? Because it's easy to control them in the school, but then when in the classrooms, but when it comes to you know playing around and all of that, how's, what's the plan? I've just I've just addressed that now. Probably you didn't get that point. Children are not returning to school now for any co-curricular activities. No, no, no. They are going understand. back to school. Just one moment. They come to school. Mm. They haven't seen themselves in a while. Okay. They don't just get from home into the classroom, mm. they will walk into the school, mm. they will meet themselves. There is no way they will still not greet themselves. I of mean, course, they will greet. Exactly. Uh, physical distances never deny people from greeting themselves. What we are saying is physical contact should not occur. And that is why we have teachers here. We have teachers that are taking care of um, six classes from JS1 to SS3 to man three, two classes now. So you could understand that the workload on teachers is reduced.